Sir Richard Charles Nicholas Branson is a British business magnate. In the 1970s he co-founded the Virgin Group, which today controls more than 400 companies in various fields. Branson expressed his desire to become an entrepreneur at a young age. Born, July 18, 1950, age 73 years, Blackheath, London, United Kingdom. Space Missions, Virgin Galactic Unity 22. Net worth, 290 crores USD, 2024 Forbes. Spouse, Joanne Templement, M1989, Kristen Tomassi, M1972-1979. Children, Holly Branson, Sam Branson, Claire Sarah Branson. Grandchild, Bluey Rafe Richard Branson. Richard Branson net worth 290 crores USD. To contact please check my YouTube video description and visit my website. Richard Branson Early Life Richard Charles Nicholas Branson was born on July 18, 1950 in Blackheath, London, the son of Edward James Branson, 1918-2011, a barrister, and his wife Yvette Huntley Branson, née Flint, 1924-2021, a former ballet dancer and air hostess. He has two younger sisters, Lindy and Vanessa. His grandfather, Sir George Arthur Harwin Branson, was a judge of the High Court of Justice and a privy counselor. Branson's great-great-great-grandfather, John Edward Branson, left England for India in 1793. John Edward's father, Harry Wilkins Branson, later joined his son in Madras. Starting from 1793, four generations of Branson's family lived in India, mostly at Kudlore, in modern-day Tamil Nadu. On the show Finding Your Roots, Branson was shown to have 3.9% South Asian, Indian, DNA, likely through intermarriage. Later, he stated that one of his great-great-great-grandmothers was an Indian named Arya. Branson was educated at Skatecliffe School, a prep school in Surrey, before briefly attending Cliffview House School in Sussex. He attended Stowe School, a private school in Buckinghamshire until the age of 16. Branson has dyslexia and had poor academic performance. On his last day at school, his headmaster, Robert Drayson, told him he would either end up in prison or become a millionaire. Branson has also talked openly about having ADHD. Branson's parents were supportive of his endeavors from an early age. His mother was an entrepreneur. One of her most successful ventures was building and selling wooden tissue boxes and waste paper bins. In London, he started off squatting from 1967 to 1968. Branson is an atheist. He said in a 2011 interview with CNN's Piers Morgan that he believes in evolution and the importance of humanitarian efforts but not in the existence of God. I would love to believe, he said. It's very comforting to believe. Personal life. Branson married Kristen Tomasi in 1972 and divorced her in 1979. They had no children together. In 1976, Branson met Joan Templeman and later began a relationship with her. Three children were born during the course of the relationship, daughter Claire Sarah, born in 1979, who died only four days after birth. Another daughter Holly, born in 1981, and a son Sam, born in 1985. In 1989, Branson and Templeman married on Necker Island. In 2017, Branson's Necker Island home was left uninhabitable after Hurricane Irma. It was the second time the Necker Island home had been severely damaged, after the building caught fire when it was struck by lightning caused by Hurricane Irene in 2011. Branson's mother Eve died from COVID-19 complications in January 2021 at the age of 96. A celebration of her life was posted online by her son. In 2007, Branson was ordained as a minister by the Universal Life Church Monastery to conduct an on-flight wedding as part of a marketing effort for domestic flights in the USA on Virgin America Airline. From 2013 to 2017, he served as president of the Old Stoic Society of Stowe School. In November 2017, singer Antonia Jenne, a backing singer for Joss Stone, claimed Branson sexually assaulted her at Necker Island by putting his head between her cleavage and making boat engine noises, a practice that, when performed consensually, is known as motorboating. A spokesperson for Branson confirmed to the Sun newspaper that members of the band had been invited for a party on the island in 2010, but that he and friends and family in attendance had no recollection of the events and that there would never have been any intention to offend or make anyone feel uncomfortable. Richard apologizes if anyone felt that way. Branson is an experienced kitesurfer and set two world records in the sport. The first was as the oldest person to kitesurf across the English Channel. 
Then in 2014 he broke the Guinness World Record for most people riding a surfboard by kiting with three women attached to him, including professional kiteboarder Susie Mai and entrepreneur Allison D. Spaltro. Also an avid cyclist, in August 2016 he was injured while riding his bicycle in the British Virgin Islands, resulting in torn ligaments and a cracked cheek. Early Business Career After failed attempts to grow and sell both Christmas trees and budgerigars, Branson launched a magazine named Student in 1966 with Nick Powell. The first issue of Student appeared in January 1968 and a year later, Branson's net worth was estimated at £50,000. The office for the venture was situated in the crypt of St. John's Church, off Bayswater Road, in London. Though not initially as successful as he hoped, the magazine later became a vital component of the mail-order record business Branson started from the same church he used for student. Branson used the magazine to advertise popular albums, driving his record sales. He interviewed several prominent personalities of the late 1960s for the magazine including Mick Jagger and R.D. Lang. Branson took over full direction of student after successfully lying to Powell that the workers at the magazine opposed Powell's plans to turn the magazine into a cooperative. His business sold records for considerably less than the high street gouletlets, especially the chain W.H. Smith. Branson once said, There is no point in starting your own business unless you do it out of a sense of frustration. At the time, many products were sold under restrictive marketing agreements that limited discounting, despite efforts in the 1950s and 1960s to limit retail price maintenance. Note. Branson eventually started a record shop in Oxford Street in London. In 1971, he was questioned in connection with the selling of records declared export stock. The matter was never brought before a court because Branson agreed to repay any unpaid purchase tax of 33% and a £70,000 fine. His parents remortgaged the family home to help pay the settlement. In 